Hi guys, so I am back, yay, with my finished mini album as promised. Um, if you watched my previous video, I showed you the album kind of like raw and just the base of it. I used this paper pad from Dear Lizzie I got from Tuesday morning and I just picked up two more because I'm obsessed with this paper like even more than when I started. And I used up a whole 6x6 and um, some um, 12x12. So you saw all that in my previous video. I'm not going to go over it, but let's just get right to the mini album. Um, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can, but I do like to talk about the ideas I had and why I did it, because I don't know if it would help anyone else. I know that I'm the type that I like to hear people's thought process. So I'll try to kind of talk about it a little bit, but I'm not going to say like, this is paper, or this is a thicker. I think a lot of us know that. So if you do have any questions on what I used and where it's from or what collection, just let me know. But um, let's get started. This is a mini album. It's a six by six pocket style mini album and using the Hidden Hinge binding I used a tutorial from my sister Scrapper and I'll post the link below and all the links are in the other video too for you to see so that's the style and then I used the Dear Lizzie Lucky Charm collection and I made this for my niece I kind of went through her Instagram pictures and kind of stole them off her Instagram and thought I'd make this as a cute little present for her she's like Oh gosh, she's like 12 or 13 years old. So she's at that cute age where she's got so much personality and I really loved looking at all the pictures. <clears throat> Please excuse my voice. It's very early in the morning. It's like a dreary, rainy day. And I just filmed two haul videos, so my voice. <laughs> so let's see. On the cover, I just uh, used a... These little frames are from the, rec the, I think, the Creative Chaos line, and I didn't have any that I thought went, so I just, I embossed it with gold embossing powder, just Recollections gold embossing powder, and I think it came out really, really good. If you can see the, nice and, sh like, a shiny, it came out really good, because it went with the thickers that I had, which are Dear Lizzy. So, one thing I will talk about, this little area here, if you have a 6x6 paper pad, check it, because... Sometimes, if you look, sometimes the top of the paper pad has a coordinating color with the collection or a design or a pattern. And if you're lucky, sometimes it has quotes. So peek through your, um, your papers and as you're cutting, you may end up with these cute little scrap pieces that you could use as full washi tape or just as like a little layering effect. So that's what I did here. I had this with the pink arrows. I don't know why the lighting is getting bad. Um, the little hearts and then this I just stamped my life and then I used the embossing powder and I did the date, uh, the year for that area there. So I thought that that was really cute. So let's look. Oh, and then you saw my previous video. This is just rosette trim from Hobby Lobby. So before I start, let's just say I don't have like a style, like I don't know how to do like a layout on a car, on a page, like I don't know any of that. I just pull what I think looks cute, place it where I think works, and I just hope people like it. That's kind of my craft style. A lot of people get too nervous and they're like, oh gosh, I don't know. Just do whatever you want. It should be fun for you and you should enjoy it. So that's what I did and I hope that she enjoys it. So this first page here... Um, I just used one of my Saturated Canary Girls. Her name is Tammy Pie. I'll post the link to the Saturated Canary shop down below. And I just stamped a quote and used some bling and my spell binders and I just have that on the front cover. This front page is kind of like an introduction page. Hello, my name is Ashley. And I used a little Heidi Swap, um, no. Martha Stewart punch, the butterfly punch, and I just punched two out and used my tiny attacher in the middle. Um, so if you open this up here, this is just a cute little collage that she did on Instagram, and I used my Dymo label maker to put her last name, which is my maiden name. I miss being a Carol girl, so she can hold that title now. Um, this is my brother's daughter. Uh, You'll see him in the book. So again, took pictures off her Instagram and I kept the little cutout of what her Instagram name was because she changes it from time to time. So I think it's cute if she looks back on it and remembers some of the cute names that she came up with. Just use some washi tape with some of the Heidi Swap uh, 
these are her glittered stickers. Where are they? I had them somewhere. Here they are. Um, these are just the Heidi Swap glittered stickers. So I use them just a couple times in there. So I use a wood veneer, and each one of these has a uh, photo mat. Now I just use 65 pound cardstock in this whole album, which is the base of these pages. Once you add your cardstock, like your colored coordinating pattern paper on top, this becomes nice and thick. So don't worry about your paper being too thin in the beginning because you're just going to mount everything on top of it and it makes it nice and sturdy. So this is just a picture of her at school. Again, used um, another one of her Instagram labels and some washi tape. And then on the back side here, that's my mom and my other little niece in the airport because we went out last year to visit them in July. And then I added some labels there where she can um, add her own little touches. She can journal or write whatever she wants. I tried to leave some areas throughout the book where she could add her own personal touches. So this site here, here's another idea I had. I just went on her in um, Facebook as well and I tried to see if there was any really cute posts or statuses that she had that I wanted to add. So she, um, my sister-in-law lost her sister last year. So this was a status where she was thinking about her and missing her. And it was a sweet little dedication. So I just thought I would add that in there. And then if you open it up here, this was a really funny conversation that she shared on Facebook about um, a conversation between my niece and her and my, my brother. So I just used the Heidi Swap. Um, she's got some cute little things and I just did the hashtag love this, LOL. And that's them there. I used just some washi tape, the Dymo label maker. I used the Epiphany Crafts tool to make this little flare and just stamped right there and then oh then then i used um hold on i'm going to be skipping information these here these little tabs that's a punch it's a tab punch from i believe stampin up and it is retired so you can't buy it but i had to get mine off i think ebay this here is the on the edge die by tim holtz and i just use it to make this little card that she can kind of keep track of what she's currently into and this is using a stamp set by um, Studio L2E. It's called Crazy Awesome Life and it's just got the currently um, today was and you can fill it in with all these different words which is so cool. So I kind of put this in here and I might add a couple more so she can just keep track of what she's into at this age. These are some just cute more selfies that she has. I used the Polaroid frame die that I showed I think I showed in the previous video. Um, that I've had. It's from Sizzix. I got this at Hobby Lobby a while ago and it comes with the photo corners if you can see here and my die is a mess because I use it all the time but um, it comes with these photo corners. So what I did was I just went through my scraps and any little pieces that I had I just cut with some coordinating cardstock to the paper I was using so I can go through and add photo corners in my book after or save them for another project. So this is just um, another wood veneer. This is actually washi tape, but I like how it almost looks like a stamp, but I just added it because she's got the, ner the, like, the nerdy glasses on. They're so cute. Then this is just a picture of my nieces at the zoo. I used the Heidi Swap stamp with the coordinating die, uh, the little die t t that she gives with the stamp set. So I did hashtag love. And there's another example of those clusters where I just use those little pieces of paper just to add, like make my own embellishment. And I thought that that was cute. And on the back side here, it's just a cute selfie. And then I added this um, label that she could journal on. And again, all these labels you see, they're all from Studio Calico that I just cut out. Some are free. Some um, I got in some classes that I purchased. So that's my brother and my niece. Um, she's got so many cute selfies of them together on Instagram. It was so cute to kind of like just see the love that he has for his girls. You know, when I was growing up, he was our big brother, and, you know, when I see him play with the girls, it almost reminds me of when he would play with my sister and I, like, throw us around, and just, like, it's so really, it's just, every time I spend time with them, it's just so sweet. So, this is just a funny little selfie, so I have this, it says totally random, and then I put selfie, and then again, clustered some more pieces. This is another little, cute little page. This is a cutout from the paper. And then this I have to finish, but this is just a cute little um, 
again, the Polaroid die frame that I used. And then this side here is another collage that she made and just, I stamped Remember Today. So I do have to, I, there are like a couple pages I didn't finish. One I'm struggling with still, and I'll show you why. And this page here is just a selfie, not a selfie, a picture of her from school. I used some washi tape and the typewriter, and then she can write um, her memory here, like who, where, when, like write her school in the year, whether or not she was like a junior or um, whatever. And then this stamp here, all right, this stamp here and this stamp here and this stamp here are all my little journaling favorite stamps that I use anytime I make a mini album and I'll show you this here. It's their, I got them at AC Moore a long time ago. I think they were like a dollar fifty, which is like unbelievable, but it's by Kaiser Scrapbook and their um, memory boxes it's called. If I can show you that there. Memory boxes. And it's like um, things I love about you, what a day, you can put the date, memory, flashback, quote of the day. I mean, they're really cool. And you can add them on journaling tags and all kinds of spots. So that's what I use throughout the book. Um, this side here, I love this paper. So I just put a cute little picture of her and her friends from school. And I just stamped out the school. And I had this one veneer. Cool. It said school days. I would never be able to use it without because I don't, I'm obviously out of school, so it was perfect to be able to use it here. And then this is um, just a collage that was on her Instagram of all these little videos that she did for her friends for the, her TBH, which, you know, apps may change and what's trendy in social media may change, so I think this is cool to put in things that are relevant to the times, um, which is why I think it's cool for you guys to urge yourselves or your kids, take pictures of like, their rooms, like what they had, what their like, you know, colors were, because it's really cool to remember, you know, what your style was at certain ages. So this is kind of just remembering like the app and the whole like TBH thing. Um, if you have kids, you know what that is. And then this side here is another cute little selfie collage she did with my, her and her dad. So I just used some thickers and the Polaroid frame. Um, and then this side is blank so she can add her own pictures as well. This is a picture of her and her mom. And this is a cutout from the paper. This is a quote from the paper. And I just put my mom with some bling and some um, sequins. So this is the page that I'm struggling with. Um, here's why. I have this picture, a super cute picture of her listening to her headphones. And she has this really weird fil filter on it that's got like these funky colors. So I have this digital stamp from Saturated Canary and it says just a second this is my song it's so cute I even gave her glasses some glossy accents and I was gonna put her here but I couldn't figure out how to fit them both in a cohesive way so I'm kinda changing ideas around I made this little journaling card where she could put like her top favorite songs so I'm still figuring out what I want to do here um, that's my one thing I got to finish. And then this side here is just a picture of her and her friend. So that's my unfinished part, but I just don't think I have any more time to shoot another video at a later date. So I'm just showing it to you now, kind of unfinished, but that's okay. And then this last page here is another picture of her and her friend. And yet again, another Instagram name. So, um, that's another really good idea. So just, she can kind of remember. And then I just use some enamel dots and again, more cutouts from the paper. Um, and again, this top piece here, I'm pretty sure was on top of the 12 by 12 sheets. Let me actually double check right now. Um, when I was using the 12 by 12 paper, I'm pretty sure the tops of these, yep, look at what I just opened to. The top of this paper has got hearts on one side and a quote on the other. And it says, you make me happy when skies are gray. So I really, I'm not sure if See, see, here's another one. Let me zoom out. This one says, let's be adventurers. I'm not sure if this is something that American Crafts or Dear Lizzie does or if it was just for this paper pad. This says, wild things, wild thing, I think I love you. Oh my God, I never even saw that one. Is this crazy? So it's like almost like a coordinating little pattern strip at the top. So like I said, sometimes you can get a quote. Sometimes this one's got little clouds on them. 
see that's where I got the you make my heart sing was from this one so check out your paper they give you like extras so that's where I got this one where it says this is awesome and oh and then this last page here I kind of pulled it out at the last second it was going to be blank but she just posted this picture I just think it's funny for some reason I don't know why and um, I'm gonna, just going to add a blank journaling spot where she can kind of close it off how she wants so that's it that's my album i'm so excited to give it to her i've been dying to finish it so i can send it out um again like i said in the previous video i just started making this because i was just trying a new technique trying a new mini album technique and i ended up just pulling these papers and coming up with this idea and look at it ended up being such a cute finished album that i'm gonna make into a really special gift and i hope she really likes it um I think it's really cool the age that she's at right now. I love um, everything about the age. She reminds me of when I was at that age and oh, I just love her and I really hope she loves this. I enjoyed making it for her and I hope you guys all enjoyed um, letting me share this with you and if you watched the whole thing, thank you so much. Um, again, if you have any questions about anything that I used on any of the pages, let me know. Um, I showed you two stamp sets, but pretty much every other stamp you see in here is Heidi Swap, if that helps. And um, that's, a, that's it. So thanks guys so much for watching and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye!